Hello everyone. Okay, I have another box that arrived today that uh, I'm going to open up and let you see what's inside. So, let's get on with it, eh? So this arrived this morning, sorry, this afternoon, just before I was going out. So, <coughs> there's a fair bit of paper inside. Uh, during lockdown, I started buying... Um, art supplies from Stuart Semple um, from, from the Culture Hustle website um, they do they, they've recently brought out um, a set of watercolours <coughs> but they do a lot of acrylics as well in both um, liquid and powder form that you mix up to the consistency that you want excuse me <coughs> so as i say during lockdown i started um buying uh, bits of stuff from them and i've got some of the some of the pots and some of the bottles um one of the orders that i got uh there'd been a little bit of leakage so I let them know about it and they sent me an, e an email apologising with a 10% off next purchase voucher and because the voucher didn't have any time limitation on it I didn't actually use it until this week. So let you see what I've got eh? Oh there's a sticker. <coughs> This a, a pot of um, orange powder paint, isn't it? Um, the orangiest orange, if I remember rightly, from the website. In fact, I've got a packing note here, so I'll be able to tell you for sure. Yes, the world's orangiest orange, and this is the limited edition one for Halloween. And they've got little faces on the jars. You can't tell. Let's see if I can show you. I'll take the lid off and, and see if we can uh, show you. It's quite a... Well, <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a bright colour. It is the, the orangiest orange and it's a powder. So... That's going to be to make up into paint to use on paper or whatever. And it tells you how to make it up on the, the bottom, that on the top here. Instructions, one pot water, stir into super base, acrylic, medium or linseed oil. <clears throat> it just so happens I also ordered a bottle of super base. However, this on the website was super duper base and it's supposed to smell like black cherries. So let's have a um, see if I can get it open and uh, It might smell different when it's out of the bottle. It kind of smells a bit plasticky just in the bottle itself. But as I say, when I actually use it, it, it might it might come out smelling a bit different, all being well. Next up, there's a bottle of mirror this is a, a 15 mil bottle and it produces a, a very as you can probably guess mirrored surface 
when you paint with it so if for example you were painting a picture of a mirror without a reflection in it and you just wanted the mirrored surface this would be something good to make that mirrored surface in your picture So the next up is Haze Potion. Now wow. each of the colours has a name other than the uh, the colour it is and his is purple as in Jimi Hendrix purple haze. is what this looks like if I can get into the bag and show you. They all come nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. So that's that. Uh, that should come out as a really lovely violet purple when it's put onto canvas or paper. Next up, we have Monster, and this is another bottle of acrylic paint, and it's green. It's a very greeny green. If I can get it open, I can show you. Oh, there we go. That's that one. So the potions are the liquid ones and the tubs are the powders. <clears throat> I would recommend looking on the Culture Hustle website. Um, it's, a, it's a fun website, full of artistic stuff. So the next one is this and it is black 3.0 this is meant to be the the mattest black that they sell let's see I can't actually show you how black it is but suffice to say the black on the bottle does you know other than that bit of sheen it does do it justice uh, there's a little bit in the lid uh, it's that bit that's that's got the light in it right right at the very back of the lid uh, you can't really tell very much but this is meant to be like an ultra flat black and when you paint with it uh, it's meant to absorb I think it's something like 95% of the visible light that hits it so it makes it look a very very flat black uh, black 3.0 is is a very accessible black for people to buy and it's been created for people to actually buy unlike the black that Anish Kapoor uh, formulated and uh, that he doesn't want to share. If you uh, if you haven't heard of Anish Kapoor and his very black black, uh, have a look online about him. In fact, what I'll do is when I put this up, um, I'll put the links to the Cultural Soul website, and I will put some 
a link if I can find one about um, this guy Anish Kapoor and his creation. Right, the next one that we have is Shift. This is a kit and you get two bottles in it. There's a bottle of Black 2.0 which is the one that came before Black 3.0. Um, and there's a bottle of rainbow liquid paint as well and what you're meant to do is uh, you paint something with black 2.0 let it dry obviously and then you go over it with the rainbow liquid paint and when it's all dry uh, in different lights you get a rainbow effect over the black so uh, yeah that'll be a nice little adventure in uh, painting when I use it. Yeah. And there's. Aha, right. So, one of the things that I found on the website was the contents of this envelope. Um, and there's a, a, a Beta White 2.0. And the directions for use here are test each strain of formula and feedback. And for for the price, I think it was something like eleven ninety nine. Doesn't actually say on there, but for the price, you get three bottles. <laughs> Side effects: brightness may dazzle. Evaluation strains distribution by culturehustle.com. That's that. So, opening up this envelope, if I can open it up, the sticky is a very sticky. It'll be interesting to see. What this, what this white paint is like when I do use it. So that's how big the bottles are. Uh, and uh, it says uh, for evaluation purposes only. Uh, so test each strain, add max self expression away email questionnaire. Thanks for your help and support. So it is basically to test it to see. Um, see what it's like, how good I think it is, um, how well it paints. So I think that'll be an interesting exercise in itself. And there's a little pencil inside, just sharpen the end, uh, for doing the question there. And <laughs> there's a sheet of stickers inside as well. <laughs> oh, I am the testiest tester. That, that's uh, that's quite good. Uh, as I say, I recommend if if you like if you buy if you do use and buy art supplies uh, to have a look at the Culture Hustle website because it is fun. It's very much fun, um, and there's a link on there to uh, join the Culture Hustle. I uh, I won't explain more on that. I'll let you check out the link uh, when I when this video has gone live. So uh, so that's 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 the contents of my box, my box of supplies from Culture Hustle, created by Stuart Semple. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, obviously, because I've only just opened it, I haven't created anything with it yet. I need to uh, try and find um, some uh, paper or canvases to use or, uh, use with acrylic paints. So I've I've had a look round online and I have found some. So I'm hoping to get some of those soon and 
to get cracking with all this stuff and with the the other stuff that I bought earlier in the year as well from Culture Hustle. Uh, the, the prices do vary depending on what you buy. The, the kits like for example uh, Shift, they do run more expensive than say the the bottles of potion. Uh, there's uh, well, right where the bottles of potion are concerned, you can get a full set of them. Uh, I think that's around about eighty nine pound, but you do get quite a few bottles, and each one is obviously a different colour potion. Uh, so anyway, I think that's that's enough of me waffling, isn't it? Um, have a look at the the links if you're interested. Um, if you've if you've enjoyed watching this video, you know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you've liked it uh, and give us a comment. I like reading people's comments and I always try to reply to them. And conversely, if you haven't enjoyed it, you know, give us a thumbs down and, and let me know what you didn't like about it. And then I can hopefully uh, improve for next time. So with that in mind, look after yourselves and each other. Um, Enjoy your weekend. Have a good week next week. <clears throat> and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.